Chris Trump for KaijuPup.com and this is Minutes on PlayStation 4, also available on PS Vita. Uh, it's been out for a little bit in Europe and is now available outside of Europe as well. Um, and it's a sort of very simple little, um, I don't know, arcade style title that you enjoy in mere minutes. Uh, I have played uh, this many minutes so far. 20 minutes. Played it for a little bit more than 20 minutes, but the trick, if you uh, if you haven't uh, yet su suspected, is that each stage lasts a minute, and appropriately enough, uh, there are 60 stages in the game, so if you're really naturally good and an amazing talent and you're not too fussed about getting perfect scores, you can finish the whole game in an hour, uh, but that's no, never going to happen. Uh, you are this big circle, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you want to avoid the black things, uh, and you want to get the other color things in this stage, the other color things are green. Um, I can make myself bigger or I can make myself smaller. Of course, if you're bigger, then you're more liable to bump into things. And then that big square, that black square will get bigger in the thing. Uh, and you don't want that to happen. So okay, I'm going to use one of my pair ups here to, to shrink that. Uh, so far I've unlocked three power-ups, but you can only use one power-up per stage. Whoa! And... It's getting risky here, I don't know if I can... Wow, that was stupid. i blowing myself up twice. Um... Let's try that again. That was close. Um... So... Yeah, what was I going to say? Right. If you're bigger, you are, of course, a bigger target, but um, your score will multiply appropriately. So here I am half size, and so I only get half points. Um, but if you're double sized, then you get double the points for everything that you do. So there's, uh, there's that sort of very, very simple risk reward uh, mechanic here. Let's say you've got four power ups. Um, on each of the four face buttons, or you unlock them. Uh, I've only unlocked three thus far. Um, and uh, so one of them kind of, um, whoa, reduces. I'm going to use that again. I'm not uh, being particularly good from an illustrative standpoint here. Um, yeah, but one of them reduces the damage you take. Uh, one of them kind of slows things down, and then I've got another sort of area of effect blast um, to take out any any big bad black things. Um, I assume you get another si another sort of um, yeah, it kind of unlocks uh, new mechanics on the regular, and I assume uh, I'm awaiting the ability to size up again because I can never get the three stars on any of the uh, stages so far. If I go through. Have a look, see here. Da, 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 da. Even the early stages, I got like two stars on them, but I can't get three stars. Uh, it's it's really tricky. Uh, there's also extra little bonuses for collecting everything on the stage, not taking damage, and the Minute Man, um, which is the the Minute Man, is something you've got to keep an eye out for. And in the Vita version, because that's what I've been playing with today. Oh, there he is. Yay! Okay, so you just sort of touch the touchpad in the general direction. Uh, if you saw him, he was that sort of grey character that was on the left. And start the stage there, and I tap the touch the touchpad on the PS4 controller, and uh, that rescued the Minuteman, and you get a little bonus for that as well. Um, Think of all the power-ups, definitely the reducing damage one is kind of OP. <laughs> it tends to be the one I go for anyway, maybe it's just because I'm bad uh, and take a lot of damage, but that seems to be the best way to survive. Um, but uh, yeah, on the Vita version of the game, it's it's a similar thing. If you see the Minuteman is kind of like a, a Where's Wally style character, you got to pick out of the, the crowd of all of this shit that's flying around the screen. I died. Um, and uh, when you see him, if you touch him on the touch screen, then you get... Whoa! There we go. Found him again. 
And he's there right at the beginning there, viewers. Did you see it? Did you? Did you? No? Okay. Um, you got to be on the ball if you want to be like me and collect all the Minutemen. So, um, yeah, it's very, very, very simple. Um, to the point of being a pretty good handheld game. Uh, I've actually been playing a fair bit of this uh, on Vita during the day. It's the first time that I've actually loaded up the, the PS4 version. Um, but always anything like this um, that kind of comes across to the PS4 because it's, I guess, pretty easy to, uh, to code things across. And this is cross by and it's it's fairly cheap uh, relative to other PSN outings. It's it's seven dollars ninety nine or equivalent, depending on where you are. Um, so I mean, it's fairly cheap, but it's obviously designed for Vita. Even if you see, if you saw the, like the auto auto save icon there as a picture of a memory card. Um, so it's always kind of weird playing this sort of thing on a big screen. Um, you know, I mean, the, the worst case scenario is, is when it's something like Tennis in the Face or those 10 ton games uh, that have come out that just feel wrong playing them on the, on the big TV. Um, and here it does too, even though there's, you'd think you'd benefit from more screen real estate. Um, I'm actually finding it a little bit harder to concentrate. It's like, man, my circle is huge uh, on my TV here. Uh, where it's, whereas it seems to be a more manageable size um, on the Vita. Um, oh, let's see here. So there's uh, always star based, you, you want to get stars basically, uh, much like in Geometry Wars or any mobile game ever. Um, you've got score targets in the top right corner. I'm going to use my blast deck so I'm going to use my power up and uh, you want to beat those scores, really? And that's about it. I mean, there's, I presume there's leaderboards, but it's not exactly pushing leaderboards in your face, is it? Yeah, back to the main menu. No, oh, okay. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, so no leaderboards on individual stages. The only thing there's, oh no, yes they are. <laughs> not even, not even looking at, looking at things here. My goodness, how dumb am I? Um, but it doesn't exactly push them in your face. Um, it hasn't synced that thing up yet, never mind. Um, it does give you a daily challenge, which I've already played for today. I uh, should have planned ahead on that one, really. Uh, where it just does give you a sort of randomly generated stage. And much like, uh, I don't know, say something like Oli Oli, things like that. Um, you can practice as much as you want. And then you have one chance per day uh, to set a score that gets on the leaderboards. And that's kind of fun. Um, I imagine, especially if you have friends that are also playing this game, but not exactly setting the world light, I don't think, in terms of, uh, you know, player population. Um, so, you know, you might be hard pressed to find the competitive urge. It's always kind of like a catch-22 on that point. Well, if more people are playing, I'd be more involved in the competition, but, um, you know, everybody else is thinking the same thing. Um, yeah, and it's, uh, I kind of like minutes. It's kind of straightforward. Um, reminds me, if anything, of something like Tilt to Live on mobile, um, just in terms of giving you a one screen and a very confined space to work with and just avoid things and, and go. Um, and also a lot like Tilt to Live as well, that, that's got a similar idea of, well, what's going on here? Of layering in mechanics as it goes. Okay, so those circles are hard things. All right, move myself around here. Um, Yeah, it, it seems quite, I mean, it is very, very simple, just like this idea of a couple of buttons to expand and contract and throwing that, oh, I just saw the minute man oh, at the corner of my eye. I was distracted by talking. Rats. Um, oh, I did get him. Okay. A little icon in the top, right, left corner there saying that I did just react in time. 
Um, but yeah, a very, very simple idea. It's one of those, hey, it's easy to learn, difficult to master kind of things. Um, and we like that kind of thing. And um, just as a, a mobile, as a handheld thing, um, you know, explicitly telling you, hey, at most this is going to take you a minute to play at any one time. Um, that's kind of, there's a lot to be said for that. Uh, so I've unlocked the last power up here, which is the shield. So there is, I guess you can kind of say at this point, now I've unlocked everything it's going to throw at me in terms of uh, the four power ups. Let's try it out. Yep, that's the shield, alright. So I can be as big as I like for a little bit. Um, I think probably, as I said before, it's it's going to give me something in terms of, oh hey, you can now be absolutely super massive for really big points to get those uh, perfect scores. Um, you know, I, you can wonder now, given that I'm less than halfway through all the game stages, it might get a little tiresome from here on out. Um, you know, if it's not careful about layering more stuff in, but thus far it's been really good about pacing itself and um, just sort of throwing in some new surprises like this thing with the uh, the twirling twirly ball thing twirls. They did it right there. Nearly got the fifty thousand. Right there. And uh, yeah, because it is sort of careful about giving you new stuff every now and then. Uh, so the next unlock I've got is at 40 stars here. So there's something new out there. Um, it means that you're kind of tempted to go, oh, right, now I'm going to retry level one because I bet I could get a better st score at it now. Um, so there is that sort of competing against oneself kind of nature. Um, but for the most part, it is about competing against oneself. Um, I always say with uh, high score driven games, it needs to be really good at hammering home the competitive nature of it. Um, and if you do have any friends with the game, it, it should be really upfront uh, in a Geometry Wars style fashion of telling you, uh, hey, your friend has gotten this much, you know, and, or, you know, if you don't have friends that have the game, uh, the nearest person to you on the leaderboards has just gone this much, you know, you should go out and do something about that. Um, and yeah, the, the game so far, not particularly great at that stuff. Um, so that's a little bit of a shame. And uh, yeah, a puff out of it's still sort of picking nits, I suppose. It really isn't much to look at, but that's kind of um, by design, really. You know, I would imagine you kind of want to be focused on what you're doing and not kind of... Uh... Really? Seriously? Is that, have I got nothing to score up here? It's isn't good. Yeah, you want to be focused on what you're doing and uh, not necessarily distracted. Um, it's kind of that to say as a design element of deliberately obfuscating and, and distracting you. Um, oh crap. Okay. With 10 seconds left to get a bunch more points. Oh, just about did it. <laughs> Less than a second left. Yeah, it's, it's curiously Moorish um, to the point that having played it for a total of probably less than an hour, I'm already halfway through it, so I'm slightly concerned about finding all there is to find and then going, oh, well that was fun while it lasted, but it didn't last very long. Just use my damage lessener. Uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah, no. Wow. 
Racing stage is being really stingy with the points. I mean. Ignore your points. Okay, just about met the one star target there. That's all I can hope for at the moment. I haven't spotted the Minuteman at all. Um, because I'm so kind of focused on what I'm doing. Okay, needs to collect right away. That's a good thing. I don't quite get the thing of every time you collect stuff. I think like, um, you know, that, that blue line in my inner circle is just the percentage of the collectibles on the stage that I've collected in a way, because I have kind of thought before as I was playing, oh, something awesome is going to happen when that fills up, and then nothing. <laughs> you know, the, the stage just kind of ends um, at that point, because the minute's up, so it is just kind of a proportionally. Here's how much junk you have collected. Still no minute man sighting. Hmm. Half time. Hmm, we need it halfway through the game here. Alright, you wanna stay in this blue stream so you get tons of points that way. Yeah, come here. Ah, there's a minute, man. Found him. Rubbish, barely squeezing past kind of scores at the moment. Uh, it's not good enough. Uh, hey, a trophy is going halfway through. Or if you're watching this on Twitch or YouTube, a big black square on the left of the screen there. Let's see what I get at the uh, at level 40, or it's 40 stars anyway. What do you call this one? Quits. Music's kind of there, you know, <laughs> kind of um, inoffensive, but something to listen to podcasts to instead, game-wise, I think, here. Um, kind of a of taking a licking. I, want, I do desire to keep ticking. Again, just squeezing in one star. Okay, two more stages to do it. Or oh, one stage that I do really well on, but uh, that's not really happening at the moment. I think that's the thing, like, um, to an extent, 
then it's maybe a little bit on the easy side uh, if your desire is to purely survive, kind of like I'm doing, and get by every stage with one star. Um, I think if you're not a perfectionist, it's pretty straightforward. Um, Minute man, spotted him. It's probably a game, a good game to play with somebody else watching over your shoulder, so they can say, "There he is! There he is! Touch it now! Touch the button now!" A minute man, that is. Need to decrease my shield here. Oh, things aren't looking good. Ooh. I think I'm looking good at all here. Tons of points, give me all the points. It's a bit better, uh, not much better than. Uh, it's not good. Womp womp. Oh yeah. Let's try that again. Um, so it's not like, oh hey, you didn't get a star. You, you know, you don't get to advance. You do advance. It's just that uh, you, know, you won't be able to get your next unlock kind of thing. Ooh ooh ooh. I think I'm doing better this time than I was at this point before. Squeeze by there. Brilliant. So what do we get for that? Yeah, there you go. So I've got I've got the new three stage thing. So now I bet I can finally get my first perfect score over here. Um so I kind of a lot I suppose is kind of predicated on uh you know your desire to perfect uh, earlier stages in order to kind of, you know, it's that replayability that kind of um, makes this worthwhile or more worthwhile as an experience. Uh, otherwise, it does even at 7.99, it feels a little bit steep as compared to a lot of mobile games that are about right now. Um, Look how huge I am. Oh, I know I'm not going to get right. I'm going to be starting. <laughs> I'm going to get. I think you have to get everything in one go, like the no damage, collect everything, get the minute man, get it all in, in one shot if you want. The perfect rating. means I inevitably will pretty much do it and then not spot the minute man. No, no, did it again. Right. Do reader is viewer, listener, is um, hit my shield at that point.
Ah, oh, I took a bit of damage there. I oh, know, I've still got my shield, so. Oh, where is he? Where is the minute man? Ah! Oh, I got a perfect there. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Wonderful. Um, so yeah, that's that's minutes. I mean, like, you've, you've probably pretty much uh, seen everything there is to see there, except for the daily challenge, which is, imagine, uh, what I was just doing, but in a daily challenge kind of setting. Um, it's it's quite enjoyable, um, but, you know, kind of unremarkable, so it's, you know, it's a little bit of a tall order at, at uh, you know, at the price it's going for, perhaps. Uh, but if you want something decent that's that's reasonably cheap and pretty cheerful, uh, especially on your Vita, then check it out. Uh, minutes on PS4 and Vita, Chris Charlton for KaijuPop.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.